can uh, do a pull through here also to the other side over there. So stand by for a second. Got a big old giant monster Maloney uh, transformer there at the side. Right, they're coming right now? Yeah, they're coming right now, right now. Alright then, we'll leave this one open and set up on the other one also. Alright, big old giant Maloney's once again. Yeah, like okay. okay, cool. But I want to make sure you guys understand look, how that got in here. What happens is some of the holes, uh, some of the uh, covers have a small hole and probably these guys just send it down through those little tiny holes. So be very careful. You never know where you're gonna find needles at. Amazing how it got down here. Alrighty. Stand by. Right, since we're gonna try to figure four here, we're gonna see if our anchor's still good down here. time to get full of dirt and I don't know the condition of the of the eyes down here so all right not too bad just tap it a couple of times make sure all the rust comes off of it and make sure she's good enough to pull all right not bad so we'll use it to pull and put a block on here Call it good. Alrighty. Step. All right, bring it down a can and some channel lock so we can pick up that needle. I right, hold that. Like I said, eventually we don't know where how some of this stuff gets down here, whatever. But we're gonna dispose of it in the right or right way. If we have to take it to a yard or somewhere, but we're gonna make sure that that gets into the right place. Alrighty, take it out. Make sure it stays in that can and separate, okay? Alrighty, took that out. So we're gonna continue on. We're gonna pull that one out. Alright, so we're gonna go down there and open the other hole. That's about 500 or so feet down the road. And uh, the dirt dogs are coming over to pull the string, blow the string in for us, and uh, get her done. So I was mentioning about the uh, how they got that syringe down there. These are always open, so the guy must have just threw it down there. That's how it got there because there's no holes or the lid for him to throw it down there. Yeah, but so the dirt dogs just arrived with the compressor to uh blow the string all the way back down that way where the guys are way down there about 500 feet or so all right stand by all right just breaking the loose a little bit and then we use the hook to pull it off all right all right so they're getting their holes and all that good stuff ready to blow the uh chute with our flat line on it so we got all the dirt dog stuff to blow it up this is their uh, blowing gun that they used and that's a little parachute that they blow the uh, string attached to it, the flat line, and they're going to shoot it all the way down across the, uh, the boulevard here. All right, stand by. All right, so we got all, everything squared away. Got the gun all ready. Locked and loaded. Yes, sir. Locked and loaded. Locked and we're going to juice it up. So we came back over here to do a, uh, we're not going to do a pull through after all because the condo doesn't go. Do is just put the cable over the hole and float it down so that it can pull this hook back up about uh, maybe a hundred feet or so. So that's what we're going to do instead of uh, rigging up and stuff. We're just going to do uh, float the cable and pull it through. All right, ladder out in order to get our cable down. This is what I was saying from on top. We're going to float the cable down, float it down, and just float it in the conduit over there. Stand by.
conduit. All right, so we're floating the cable in. They're taking it. We've got our gear holding in spot. Feed the cable! All right, feeding it. We're doing good. The kit's doing good by floating the cable in. And everything's going nice. Float it! All right. Take it like a man. All right, here we go. Feed it! Feed it! Feed it! Feed it! Feed it! All right, looking good. Kid's gonna cut it, bring it down, I'll cap it. And then we're gonna turn around and uh, use one of the conduits over here to pull the uh, 600 feet down that tunnel, down the other side. But anyways, uh, we came up with a lot of uh, ways to pull the cable in if we were able to do the uh, pull through, which those conduits up there, they don't go to that vault. They go somewhere else, so that's what we have to go down here and it's just too much, a little bit of an offset. So that's what we're doing. All right, stand by. As you can see, we put the caps in over the hole. What we're going to do is just uh, put a block down there in the bottom and straight up to the caps in. And uh, we'll be able to pull the, uh, the flat line with the rope behind it straight up into the caps in. No other rigging. It makes it a lot easier when you can do this. All right, we're going to ladder out because we can't pull cable. And we'll speed with the ladder sometimes in the way. So here we go. We're going to give them an ID. And we're gonna rig up to that eye like I cleaned up earlier. And straight to the capstan with the uh, flat line, with the line behind it. All right, stand by. All right, waiting for an ID on the cable. Are you getting it? No, sir. All right. Did you get an ID? No, I didn't get it, try again. Okay, thank you. Stand by. All right, so we're ready to take our flat line from them and then our line to pull the cable. So we're going straight to the capstan. This will we eliminate a lot of uh, rigging. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Alrighty. Whenever you're ready, tell them. You got your radio? Yeah. All right. Looking good. to it and we're good. So we backed up the cable now to 
pull this way. We'll pull back this way now. And the splicers will be able to make a splice here in this empty bay right here with the one that's coming already that we pulled in. So we're getting her done. today. Alright, so we're pulling in the uh, four rod, going the 600 feet down the other side, and we're just free floating the cable, as you can see, to this side now. Sometimes we have to put a feed tube and all that other stuff, and sometimes it just works out where we can just uh, float it in. Alright, stand by. Button it up until the next one. 